How do we improve a skill we're already really good at? We have to add layers of pace. What we're going to do here is we're going to do some lateral footwork. Um, so we'll start off with our standard one, working from middle to the dot, okay, your own timing, coming back to the middle with your T-push so we have good balanced lateral footwork. We got to keep challenging the pace, the lightness and the quickness and keep overtraining that skill because there's going to get a point where, as we talked about, that skill is already under full control. So how are we going to improve it? We've got to add pace to it. We're actually looking for the loss of control because ultimately that's the signature of whether or not we're challenging the pace of what we're doing because we shouldn't have full control at a higher pace. So we're going to work knee shuffles over to the dot, early eyes to our target, sharp stop. Okay, when you make the decision to go, eyes are leading, okay? Quick trigger in that rotation. Set the table for that lateral move. The first set to be pace, the second set warp speed. Two more. Work through it. Go! Go! We always need some flexion in our body. Whether we're on our feet or on our knees, we need some level of flexion because this flexion in our, balance, in our butterfly balance is what gives us that rise. Right? If we're just down straight here, we have no rise. So flexion always serves us. That sense of a puck coming, we may not even have a track on it, but we just sense it within our view. We have an idea that it's there based on maybe periphery, maybe it's the reaction of other people in our forward view, and we're looking for that quick explosive reaction to the outside. That's better on that side. On your stick side, you're using more blocker. We want elbow. This is an elbow play because there's no way you can take the outer extremity of your hand and get it there. It's in here. You're airing to big probably, so we need that move. Okay, okay we're not going to be able to air to big and somehow get this out there. Yeah. Plus, we have good gap, so we, there's, not, there's not a lot of net to our outside. We just need that little... Okay. Oh! That's better. Come more. Help. Patient, neutral mind all the way through. That's what is the resource you need to lean on here so that you're not pre-committing, trying to anticipate something. There's nothing to anticipate here. So we need patient, neutral body, patient, neutral mind. Go. Go. Doesn't matter what side you go to, whatever's the most convenient. Go! Whatever side you end on, that's where we start. Go! Clear mind, early eyes. Okay, really early eyes is what gives you a clear mind. Information gives you a clear mind. So this is the one, you're going to come like this. If I'm starting on this side, okay, your own timing on this one, your own timing, whenever you're ready, okay, facing me, okay, we're going to work to that other dot, okay, we're having early eyes, 
set your position. As soon as you hit the ice square, that's your signal for eyes. Okay, get the information that leads our rotation. And now you're at the same time, we're multitasking. Our engines take care of our physical business while your eyes and minds are the brains of the operation. Okay, stick is up, I'm one timer. You're staying down, time is limited. You gotta stay down on this play. Stick is, if I'm casual or my stick is down, you have time, we gotta make that judgment call, recover our feet, because we always, always want our feet when we have an opportunity to have our feet. How do I? To get into a spread, stay in the spread, fight off the second puck with hand and support. Sometimes when you get into this dangerous situation, you want some depth to this. You're not just going there because that leaves too much vertical. So if we can get through here, okay, that has value. There it is. <laughs> Heavy traffic, not maybe able to track it fully and it's a relocation. Reloads are always late because we weren't connected to it. Maybe it hit a shin pad. And everything we're anticipating here all of a sudden has changed because of that misdirection. Okay, now what we're trying to accomplish here is the same things we always try to accomplish with priority coverages. Okay, we need middle, we need low, it's gotta be flush. We want to lengthen it, and then if we have time and the circumstance present, we want to go vertical and close if possible. But our first task here is to get middle, low, flush, long coverage. That's what we're aiming for here. The eyes are giving us the information, and now we need that collapsing here, because that's what gives us, we've got to build it here. That's where the build happens, okay? And then we're flushing the goal line with our eyes Again, guiding and leading as always. Okay, we're collapsing. And now we're flushing and our eyes are coming and now we're working back into the battle. You wanna flush this firm. That's what keeps this part flat and firm as we come through. We don't want this to be bobbling. Otherwise that puck hits and we just get a piece of it. You also don't want it to come through like this and ramp it. We got to be vertical, perpendicular to the ice, firm. And always work to recover. So what we're looking for is entry into the new triangle, entry into that as quickly as possible. The shortest place that can happen is right in here. Right in here at the post. That's the first bit of triangle we can cut. Okay, we can't go this way and do it because we're getting into the narrow neck of the triangle. Shortest distance between two points straight line has one major flaw. It doesn't consider the concept of time. Whereas we always operate with time being of the essence. And so we need to get in faster. So you got less length here. So again, it's a collapse and we're flushing and we need to see that. Again, this is the arm now, not the stick, that we need that firmness and flushness with. How do I organize? The moment on these battles that we can get back to a technical position, that's better. We gotta set that battle, set it behind us, park it in the rear view mirror, get all our toolbox back in play. Find it. 
Hold on. Yeah. Okay. Get out of here.